Hello and welcome back to another video by Heliguy. In this video we're going to be looking over the basics of DJI GO 4. When you launch DJI GO 4 you'll be prompted to select which drone you're going to be flying. If you're already connected to your drone, it'll take you straight into the camera view. If you look at the top bar of the interface, you'll see DJI's logo. You can click this at any time to go back and change your profile settings or anything else that needs to be done from that menu. From there, you can also complete updates for your aircraft and batteries. Right next to the DJI logo, you'll see a coloured bar. If you're indoors, it might be red or orange, but if you're outdoors, it'll most likely be green, meaning that you have GPS and can fly. If the bar's orange, it means you need to calibrate something with the aircraft, or something else is wrong. The bar will always tell you what's wrong with the aircraft, so you can sort that out before you start flying. If the bar is red, this means your drone's not safe to fly, and could mean it needs a firmware update or something else. Next to that, you'll see the GPS signal strength. This will tell you how many GPS satellites you're connected to for your flight. Right next to that, you'll see your battery level indicators. This tells you how much battery you have left in your aircraft. Right next to that, you'll see three little dots. This allows you to go into the general settings, which we'll get onto a bit later in this video. Under that, you'll see a little green, orange, and red bar. This tells you how long you've got left in the air and can be very useful if you need to return to home. Now, along the left-hand side of the app, you'll see a few options. You can auto land and return to home, but you can also access quick shots, which is available on the newer aircraft, which allows you to produce some fantastic shots with a click of a button. Underneath all of that, you'll see a map. This shows you your home point and also shows your flight path throughout your flight. Right next to the map, you'll see some flight telemetry data. This shows how far away the aircraft is from you, but also shows the height and speed of the aircraft. Now on the right hand side of the app, you'll be able to see your camera control settings. This allows you to go in and change ISO, shutter speed and white balance, but also enter a load of other features like panorama and sphere. From this menu, you can also format your SD cards and internal storage if that is an option on your aircraft. Now, let's take a look back into the general settings, which is just the three dots at the top of the app. If we go into there, we can see a load of menu options. This allows you to customise anything throughout your flight. Some notable ones to take note of are your return to home height and also your battery warning indicator. Some other notable features are setting your aircraft to return to home when it loses connection from your remote. If you lose connection at any point throughout your flight, your drone will then return to home at the altitude set. You can also enable and disable the 3D sensing systems. This will make sure your aircraft stops before it hits something. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, remember to give it a thumbs up and also share. But remember to subscribe to the Heli Guy YouTube channel for more in this series.